OK, so we've been asked to find y of x from this equation of here, y double prime equals cosine of x. And we're given two boundary conditions here, y of pi over 2 is 0 and y of 0 is 0. So how are we going about solving this? Well, let's just bring this equation down here and let's just see what we can do. So y double prime equals the cosine of x. So x is our independent variable and y is dependent on x. So y is the dependent variable. So one way we can do with this is to integrate out this uh, derivative. So y double prime, if we integrate that twice, we're going to have a solution here on this side with regards to cosine of x. So let's integrate this out now. So integral of this. So this one will be dx and this one will be dy. Okay, so y double prime, integrate that with regards to y, we just end up with y prime. So that's pretty straightforward. Now the integral of cosine x, now cosine of x, the integral of that is minus sine of x. And then Alongside of that, we need to add our arbitrary constant, so we'll just call that a, so plus a. Okay, now we've still got our derivative here, so we need to integrate yet again. So the integral of this one, and the integral of this one, and this one dy, and this one dx. Okay, so now y prime just becomes y. So that's good, so we got that where we want it. Now we need to integrate this one here with regards to x. So the integral of minus sine of x, that's just going to become minus cosine of x. Now we've got to integrate this constant here, a, with regards to x. That's going to leave us with ax, so plus ax. And yet again, we're going to need another arbitrary constant, which is call this one b. You can use any letters you like. Here I'm using A and B. OK, so that's our uh, differential equation solved. So let's just leave that there like that for now. And Y is a function of X. So we can write Y of X equals this. So the next things we're left with is Y of 0 is 0. Y of pi over 2 is 0. OK, so... If I plug in zero into here, this cosine will become uh, one. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to use, so let's use y of zero equals zero. So let's use that first. So y of zero equals zero equals, now I'm going to plug in this, minus cosine of zero. Now what about plus ax? Well x, x is zero, so that's plus a times zero, so that's going to disappear. b is a constant, so that's going to stay. Okay, so now let's work out what we've got here. So cosine of zero is one. So we've got zero equals minus one, plus zero, so that goes, plus b. So therefore, well, now we can solve for b, so basically b equals one. So therefore, b equals one. So minus one plus one, that's gonna give us zero. Okay. Okay, so we've got one of our constants here. So we've got this one equals one. So I'm just gonna write that in brackets underneath. Okay. Now, the next condition we've got is y of pi over 2 is 0. So I'm just going to write that here now. So I'm going to now use y of pi over 2 equals 0. So I'm now going to write this in here. y of pi over 2 equals 0 equals... Now back to our uh, what we solve for y of x. So minus cosine pi over 2 plus a 
times pi over 2, so our x is pi over 2, but plus a pi over 2, and then plus b, which is 1. Okay, so we can just clean this up a little bit, because we know what cosine of pi over 2 is. That's going to be uh, 0. So let's plug that in there. So 0 equals, so we've got a pi over 2 plus 1. So we know that is 0. So now we can solve for our a. So bring the 1 to the other side. So we've now got minus 1. Let's just bring that over here. Minus 1 equals a pi over 2. Multiply both sides by 2. So now we've got minus 2 equals a pi. And now we can solve for a. a equals minus 2 over pi. Okay, let's just see what we got here now. So we can plug in this formula here now with the conditions. So that gives us y of x equals, so a is minus 2 over pi. So let's just write that a little bit. Minus 2 over pi. So y of x equals, uh, b is 1, so I'm just going to write that here. That's first, that's positive. Our a is negative, so I'm going to write that as minus 2x over pi. So that takes care of that. And then minus cosine of x. And that is a solution to our question using these boundary conditions. Okay.